few days ago on a live chat on Never Enough Ammo's channel, I mentioned that I was going to be changing the mainspring housing on a 1911 that I showed the audience that evening. Now, after I did that, I received an email from someone saying, wasn't I worried I was going to make the trigger too light on my 1911 by doing that since they already have such light triggers? I responded to them and said, I'm not changing the springs. I'm actually changing the mainspring housing. That caused them to write me back and say, well, what is a mainspring housing and how do you change it on a 1911? After they asked that, I thought to myself, you know what, this would be a perfect topic for one of the videos I do where I address questions that people are afraid to ask. There are certain things we all assume everyone knows, and when someone's new and they don't know it, they get kind of intimidated and don't want to ask the question because it's one of those things that everybody already knows. So I thought I would address what the mainspring housing is on the 1911 today and how to change it because it's really simple. The mainspring housing is the little piece inserted into the back strap here right below the grip safety. This is what it looks like right here. Now this one has a magwell attached to it, but you still get the idea. What it does is it just holds the spring that powers the hammer. You can change this part without changing the spring and that'll have no effect on the actual weight of the hammer pull. It just changes out this piece in the back of the gun. The one in here now is made of G10 material and it actually goes down and forms a magwell or a pseudo magwell, I like to call it, with these grips. I do not like this. I don't like the pseudo magwell. So I'm going to be changing it out with that stainless steel backstrap that has an actual magwell on it. And while I'm at it, I'm also going to be changing the grips. I'm going to be changing them to these VZ grips right here that I think will look really good with the gun. So while we're changing the mainspring housing, we'll also change the grips. Now, the first thing I want to do is remove the grips. Now, sometimes you don't even have to remove the grips to change a mainspring housing because the grips are cut with a little notch right here that exposes the pin you'll need to get to, but these ones cover it because they are kind of a pseudo magwell. Okay, right here is the pin we're gonna to have to get to. Now, as you can see, this side right here is rounded. On the other side, you'll see that the pin has a little divot in it. That's the side you push it out from right there. Now I went ahead and took the slide off because I didn't want to have to maneuver around all that extra weight. You don't absolutely have to, but I think it's a good idea. Now I'm just going to punch out the pin. Put my little pin aside here. Now when you go to pull the punch out, be careful because this is under spring tension in here. And once you get it to a certain point, it's going to come out right there. See, popped out. And it slides right out. That's how easy it is to remove. Okay, once you have this off, you're gonna notice there's a little plunger in there and a little pin right there. What you have to do is depress this plunger while you push this pin out. And this will be under spring tension also, so be careful once you get the pin out. Now this is where I would normally use a vise, but since most people don't have one, and I can't find mine, I'm just gonna do it by hand here. It's really easy, just force it down just a little bit, push that little pin out, boom, and there it comes. You don't really need a vise and other things to do these types of work. It just helps, but don't be intimidated to think you can't do it just because you don't have a vise. Okay, once you have this out, you'll see there's the little plunger we just pushed down. There's a little piece on the bottom here, and then there's a spring. We're just gonna reuse these, so we're just gonna put these back in the new mainspring housing with the little pointy part down. And now that it's in there, we're just gonna do the same thing, but in reverse, putting the pin back. And there we go, it's back in there. Really easy to do. Okay, before we slide this back up onto here, which is all we gotta do now is push this back up on here, we have to make sure this little leaf spring here goes in front of it, and this little leg from the hammer right here goes inside that little hole resting on top of that little plunger. It's usually very easy to do. It actually kind of wants to go there, so. Then you push that back up, and we're just gonna put our pin back in. All right, once you have that in there, you just need to put the pin back in. You can just push this down on a table, and then start your little pin. Okay, it is in there. Now we just have to tap it the rest of the way in. All right, it's in there. Now we just have to check and see if things work. Kind of just push this hammer back, put your thumb on it, pull the trigger, and yep, it goes forward, so this works. Now we'll just spray a little oil on here and then wipe it down, get it good and clean under where the grips are gonna go. Like I've said a hundred times, always clean before you put the new grips on there. You don't wanna trap foreign matter under your new grips. And now let's put the new grips back on. I hope these look good. They cost me like 80 bucks, but they're really well made. Wasn't crazy about the thumb relief here for the mag catch, but you know, 
they didn't have it without it so you do what you got to do okay they're on there so let's get the gun put back together So there we have it, all completed. A very quick and easy change of the mainspring housing. As you can see on the back here, we have the new stainless steel mainspring housing instead of that G10 one that was in there before. And we have a traditional metal magwell here instead of that faux magwell that the grips and the mainspring housing were forming before. And I think it just looks better overall with the new grips. So the new mainspring housing, new magwell, and new grips really make a difference on this gun. I think it looks a lot better now. So there you have it. You can see that's a very easy change. If you're someone that gets intimidated by doing little changes like this, don't be intimidated because things like this are actually very easy to do.